Okay, um, the question uh, posited with is, uh, you know, the evidence this uh, measles hysteria was orchestrated. Uh, there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that it was. Um, when Ed Day was quoted in the paper last week, uh, you know, he made fun of me and he said uh, when I had commented that I believe Rockland had been targeted, uh, it was the perfect place. You had me here and put me out of business without religious exemptions. A mile from where I'm sitting, you have a, a Hasidic community um, that has often been targeted. And he, he described uh, my statements as a boogeyman theory and uh, saying there is no boogeyman theory here. But, you know, if you really peel it back and, and you take a peek under the hood, the, the plan, the orchestration of what has happened here is, is unbelievable. You can see, uh, you know, that California was targeted and the religious exemption uh, was uh, removed. Then you have uh, New York here targeted another community, and then it's been rolled out throughout the United States. So yeah, there is a boogeyman, and it's uh, I was going to say a day, but it's it's really pharma. Pharma is uh, the boogeyman, and a day made other comments uh, saying that neither Judaism or Christianity. I think he might have added Islam as well. Uh, do not have uh, religious tenets contrary vaccinating. Again, another mistake on his uh, behalf. In 1983, in the Eastern District of New York, uh, Judge Wexler, uh, a great judge in my opinion, who recently passed away, had issued a, a very important and pivotal decision uh, it was Sharon Levy versus Northport. And in that case, uh, the school district brought in a rabbi, brought in a rabbi who said um, there are no tenets contrary to vaccinating, uh, prohibiting uh, Jewish uh, adherents to refrain or refuse vaccines. And the judge said it doesn't matter what the rabbi thinks; it's how the client, it's how the plaintiff was interpreting uh, their faith, and that is a premise that we will be moving on in, in our litigation, uh, attempting to restrain the repeal of our religious exemption. And, you know, I'm just coming off a, a big win in Rockland in the Ed Day case. I represented Jane Doe, uh, along with Michael Sussman, who rep, uh, represented children from Green Meadow School. And uh, we moved on different theories, but uh, we were successful. Um, at the, my argument really was more about safety and Michael uh, focused on health. But um, what was significant is that the judge ruled there is no epidemic. And Jane Doe is going back into Rockland, back into Judge Thorson. Uh, that ruling by Judge Thorson was sustained in the appellate division by four justices. And his ruling is no epidemic. And so therefore, without an epidemic, Jacobson versus Massachusetts, which many of you know is a 1905 landmark vaccine refusal case, Jacobson said there has to be grave danger. There has to be a problem that imperils society, that vaccines have to be necessary, harm avoiding, proportional and non-discriminatory. I mean, it's none of these things. First of all, MMR comes with mumps and rubella, and there's been no emergency declared for any of them. You know, these attempts at local municipalities declaring uh, emergencies, it, it conflicts with why hasn't the New York State Commissioner of Health declared an emergency? Why hasn't CDC declared an emergency? Because there is no emergency. It is, uh, it, you know, not that measles isn't serious or people can be hurt. I, I get that. I understand. But that is true of everything. And if you have a vaccine, that can leave your child maimed or, or 
learning to save old or, or worse, uh, kill them, you know, it, it really calls into question it is uh, the benefit outweighing the risk. And I can tell you in my 20 years doing this, no, it is, it is absolutely not. And more important, it's highly likely that that is what is spreading the measles cases. You don't know what's in that vaccine. In 1990, in California, uh, CDC reported it was distributing an unlicensed hypervirulent uh, MMR vaccine uh, that was designed to overwhelm uh, the immune system of mothers because there was a problem vaccinating young children who still were sharing the mother's immunity. And uh, those kids were uh, really injured. And it was canceled or, or stopped uh, when companion trials going on in Haiti in the Dominican Republic uh, showed uh, death as a result of that vaccine. And the CDC admitted it. So, you know, I'm not afraid of the boogeyman here. These are facts. And you don't know what is in the measles vaccine. It, it could be hypervirulent, it could be ineffective, it, it could have, uh, oh, who knows? You know, and I'm, I'm fairly sure the Constitution, uh, I thought, protected those rights. And if it didn't, the Supreme Court said it did uh, in Jacobson, when the Supreme Court said, you know, it has to be necessary. And it, you know, we can show it's not. The vaccine mandates are not necessary and they're causing more harm than good.